Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit in my infrared sauna, which is incredible. It's 137 degrees. I sweat like rain. Detox, meditate, focus on what I want to manifest, try to keep clear and see the bigger picture and things. And this is also where I do this little vlog and talk about what comes up and what I feel compelled to put out to the world, not just for others, but for myself, okay? So it's been very sort of cathartic, actually, this whole um, quarantine, because today's day 29. It's the day after Good Friday. I probably won't get this up till tomorrow on Easter, but... You know, there's no coincidence that a lot of this is going on during this holiday, and I'm not religious by traditional means, but I do believe in, you know, Christ consciousness and how Christ or the image of Christ or the symbol of Christ uh, is symbolic of the Christ consciousness that's based in unconditional love. Okay, not the religious part, but I do believe that Jesus was a fifth dimensional being that came here during that time to help people understand the bigger picture. Um, but there were many, you know, prophets at that time through history that had very, very important wisdom to impart to us as lovely humans. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, today is 29 and there's no coincidence that Easter is a time of transformation and ascension. And that's what we're all going to be experiencing in due time. And I'm not talking about death. I'm talking about turning into fifth dimensional beings. And I've spoken about this kind of at length at this point, but it's a really important. Okay, so I feel compelled to tell everyone, especially the light workers, but everyone, that it is so critical, and I'm saying it again, to keep a very high, vib high vibration during this time because... There is so much fear. I mean, like rivers of fear, dark fear that's like tumultuous and turbulent. And that if you get close to it, will take you down that river or down that rabbit hole or down that waterfall into the dark. Okay? It is going to take a concerted effort to stay positive because it seems as if everything and everyone around is falling into the river of fear. My good friends whoever I seem to call has some sort of seriously dark take on things and to the even point of panic or having to deal with others in their home that are just like bombarding them with this darkness and so they feel uh, you know like crushed <laughs> so and then if you look at the news of any type on your phone or on the television or whatever it's all panic and hysteria very little positive stuff and then you don't know actually what to believe <laughs> because it seems like there's a lot of misinformation out there okay so and I have theories about all of that but I'm going to try to stay above that fray and just say that in this time it is so critical to stay positive and if you're surrounded by negativity you have to be very discerning about what you let in okay so if you live with people that are negative try to disengage if you can't disengage because the space is too small you know because it's really important to meditate and get some peace and quiet time and really connect to your guides and spirit and all of that and if it's a very small environment where people are in your face all the time that are negative or causing you aggravation and you don't feel like you can do it during the middle of the day when everyone's awake wait till everyone's asleep okay use tissue in your ears it'll be worth it you know or whatever you have to do to disconnect from the negativity that's in your environment if you're blessed enough to be alone or relatively alone or have space in your environment to move about and to have privacy um, there's so many ways to keep connected to spirit and to keep in this higher vibration there's a massive amount of sound frequency online that you can go on YouTube and, and Google DNA activation frequency and there's a million different things that you can listen to that help you connect with spirit. One of the really critical ones that I've really been in integrating into my meditations is the 40 hertz, 40 to 100 hertz sound frequencies because they really are basically heaven 
and you will l feel the lightness come over your being and it will help integrate this 5D light into your energetic field, which is super important right now because we have to rise up. We have to. If we fall into this river of fear and darkness, you know, I'll just say that it's... Let me just say that it's really important that we stay positive, that we stay in this high vibratory state because of the light coming in. And I'm telling all light workers that that's critical, but even other people, it's really important to start thinking positively. And if it means just every single moment giving thanks, thank you, God, thank you, my higher power, thank you, spirit, whatever, thank you, my angels, for all of my blessings, this, 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 this. If that's what it takes, whatever it takes to stay positive and stay in gratitude in these most challenging times for humanity. It's really important. Okay, so the sound frequency on YouTube, if you have access to a phone, a smartphone, which most people do, thank goodness, you can get it right on your phone. And if you don't have headphones, you can just play it, you know, don't put it up to your head, but you can just play it in your vicinity and feel those vibrations. And maybe it'll even calm down other people in your environment as well. It should. I usually play it on my televisions all around the house because it changes the vibration of your environment completely. That's a good way to help others in your environment stay in a high vibration without even talking to them. <laughs> also, there's a very powerful meditation that you can do. You can do this right before you go to sleep if you don't have any other free time where people aren't interrupting. You get into a meditative state by taking deep breaths, you know, a couple of dozen in and out. And then you envision a big shaft of pure white light coming down from the center of the universe into the top of your head through your crown chakra, activating each chakra as it heads down all the way down your chakra column into the earth and into the center of the earth where it builds up and comes flying back up, back out to the center of the universe and then back down. And it creates this vibration in your energetic body that transforms your energetic body and therefore will transform your physical body in time. Okay. As you envision this, envision this light coming out your hands and permeating every single cell of your body and transmuting your DNA to be of a light frequency. Okay. And then as you see the light going into the planet, see the light building up in the center of the planet and eventually coming out in massive waves to engulf the entire planet in higher vibrational, five dimensional, fifth dimensional light energy. And this will help the planet integrate this 5D light as well as you personally and everybody else on the planet. So this is a really powerful meditation you can do to help integrate with what's happening here. Because all this other dark fray type stuff that everybody's wallowing in, there's so much happening in the higher dimensions to help us, to help us ascend, to help us transform and transmute into these fifth dimensional beings. And this is what's gonna save us, okay? And I promise you this, okay? So please subscribe. Um, please take heed to what I'm saying. It really will help. And I promise it's going to be amazing on the other side of this. I promise. It's just time to really do your part in terms of helping humanity. Okay? So, thanks so much.